Hi, I'm Art, N0EX. Here's another video about radio direction finding stuff. This time we're going to talk about the DW400, there it is, RF field analyzer. What is it? Does it work well? Is it going to help you with your radio direction finding needs? Stay tuned for some closer looks. Alright, here's the DW400 RF field analyzer. I bought this uh, to use as a uh, field strength meter for radial direction finding, not really knowing exactly, you know, if this thing works and really, you know, how it works. I couldn't find any reviews online. Uh, the only websites I saw this uh, sold at are like, you know, eBay or, uh, you know, AliExpress, you know, the cheap Chinese electronics places. So I kind of bought it uh, at a risk to uh, give it a shot. It was a little over a hundred dollars and, um, I'll run through its uh, features here. Um, it uh, comes with this, uh, you know, antenna on a BNC connector. It's got a multi-purpose knob here and LC LCD display. And it shows these three frequency ranges which it can be used. So we'll turn it on here. It's uh, fairly easy to use. Again, there's no manual, so just kind of uh, figured it out here. Um, you'll see it actually has a frequency display. So does that work? Is it really a receiver? And yeah, if I run through here, uh, I'll run through these. So there's your frequency. There's your band selection. That's actually a volume control right there. I suppose if I could read Chinese, I would know all this, but I can't. So we'll, we'll um, I've got it on the National Weather Service frequency and we'll change this squelch level which doesn't seem to work very well but it does work so yes there's a receiver in there and an fm demodulator you'll see it's getting the uh, local weather service frequency so and is that an accurate uh, you know receive signal strength indication display well it does work it's a little slow for operation but it does work so I'll ch turn this squelch, change the squelch so you can actually hear me again. So, so that's basically it. Um, you set your frequency in one of three different bands. There's volume and there's a kind of a squelch. And uh, I have tested it just out on the property, not on a hunt. And uh, it is possible to use this uh, with a, you know, like a tape measure beam or a short beam and uh, watch the signal strength as you switch the beam and um, you know, do some direction finding. So I'll show you uh, some videos of that. All right, we moved to the other side of the house and I'm showing a little bit of higher signal over this way. Not a drastic amount of change, unfortunately. All right, we've moved to our third location and I'm getting a little bit more signal strength over here. Minus 32, minus 31 and the highest over in this direction. So we'll walk that way, see what we see. I'm uh, getting a little closer here. I've got a best signal strength of uh, minus 26, minus 28 dBs, somewhere in this direction. So we'll keep moving that way. All right, we're getting pretty close. I got minus 15, minus 16, minus 14. So we're very close now. And uh, as you can see, the transmitter's right there under the tree. So it is possible to DF with the DW400. Whether it's the right answer for you, I'm not sure. All right, there's my run through on the DW400 RF field analyzer. Um, it, it works. Whether it's, you know, like I said, the right answer for you. Uh, one nice thing is it's, it's, it's a self-contained unit that gives you a very wide range 
signal strength indication, and it's got a built-in receiver. So compare that to carrying a handheld and maybe a uh, um, active attenuator. So then you got two boxes and uh, you'll be adjusting the level on the active attenuator. So, you know, whether this is better than that, I don't know. This is uh, going to be more dollars than that because you can use a Baofeng. You probably want a better radio for that, but you could use a Baofeng and, and in the active attenuator, the active attenuator is 10 bucks to 30 bucks. You know, the Baofeng would be pretty cheap. Um, a, a good handheld would be better to use in that case. If you've watched um, my video on the RF um, uh, sniffer that I made, um, it uh, it's faster. It's very easy to just walk and listen to the tone and swing that beam. It's it's almost instantaneous feedback. You're not looking at a meter. You can watch where you're going. You're just you're you're walking and listening to the tone, and it's a, a faster response than this. Waiting for this to settle down and you know deciphering the number and. You know, so it's 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 slower. That's what I noticed using this, but it does work. So, hundred bucks. I guess you decide uh, if you want to use it for direction finding. Have it in your direction finding arsenal, or not. Um, maybe you want to use it for something else. Maybe it's good for um, uh, if you're into antenna building, uh, testing out some antennas, checking a pattern. Could work for that. Uh, not what I typically do. So. Um, I was looking at it for direction finding. So your mileage may vary. Hope you liked the video. Again, uh, share, you know, uh, like, uh, comment, uh, whatever you want to do. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.